If rabbits could talk, this white-tailed prairie hare would have one heck of a story to tell. How it spent the last three and a half weeks with an arrow through her chest and abdomen. So if this is the trajectory. This, is, this x-ray was taken before we dared take it out. The arrow is broken here, so part of it is going that way and the rest of it's coming this way like so. On Saturday night, Jonathan Kettler took photos of what he thought was a jackrabbit with an arrow through its body. The hare had a difficult time moving, but had eluded rescue for more than three weeks. Lucky bunny, and unlucky, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> on Sunday morning, volunteers were able to capture her with long-handled nets in a Douglasdale backyard. I spoke with one of the captors who said that even though the arrow was sticking out of both sides of the hair, it was still a very fast animal, and it took two or three tries in that backyard before they could capture her. If they hadn't placed themselves strategically around the site, she would have got away again, because even a couple spots, she could have got through the fence. So this is x-ray. The wild hare was taken to this wildlife conservation center north of Calgary, kind of where vets first took x-rays and then decided to remove the arrow. It could take about a month for her wounds to heal. So in the meantime, she's on antibiotics. She's got a really good appetite, which is a good sign. That means nothing in here has been blocked or she's not overly thin. So she's been able to eat through this whole process. And that right there is a miracle. Whitner believes this is a hobby arrow often used for target practice. It's illegal to hunt inside Calgary city limits, and it's also illegal to shoot a bow in the city except on a target range. And, um, obviously most animals are better off going back into a familiar habitat, but one of the biologists here will evaluate that habitat before we make that decision. The plan is to return the hare back to the area from where it came from, the Douglasdale area, once it's finished recuperating here at the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation. Near Madden, Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.